Hi, this is Todd from Cat Productivity, and welcome to Civil Cat Consultants Express Tip on setting element elevations using MicroStation. In our last tip, we looked at how to use the inroads set elevation command to move elements to an absolute elevation or to planarize vertices of an element that are at incorrect elevations, like contours with vertices that spike down to zero as shown, or break lines with vertices at some odd elevation. In this tip, we'll look at how to accomplish the same thing using MicroStation instead of inroads. Bentley provides a set of civil site tools called the Civ Tools that you can download and install. These are a set of simple tools for placing microstation break lines or contour graphics um, and editing these graphics. And these tools include a set element elevation command. You can download the Civ tools from the Bentley community site shown and then follow the installation instructions. We also provided a link to download the Civ tools in this post. Once installed, to open the Civil Site Toolbox, key in MDL Load Civ Tools, and it opens up the Civil Site Tools Toolbox. Notice on this toolbox you have a command Set Element Elevation. When I select this command, I can set the elevation I want to move the vertices to in the Tool Settings box identify the element, and it planarizes all the vertices to elevation 10 in this case. Notice that you also have an increment option in the tool settings box. If I toggle it on and set the increment to 2, then when I identify the element, I can increment it up to 12 feet, to 14 feet, etc. Now, this command does not allow grouping of elements by fence, but you can use a selection set. Notice also that this command does not have an option to move to a destination level like the inroads set ele elevation command. What if you have a situation like this example where I've got a line that slopes, in this case from 0 to negative 10, and I want to move a point on the line. I don't want to planarize it. I just want to move, uh, say, for example, the start point on the line uh, from elevation 0 to elevation 10, but I want to keep the slope. Well, I could use AccuDraw in a MicroStation Move command, and I can move the start point of the line a delta distance of 10 feet in the Z direction, or I could use a delta key in to do the same thing. But let's say that I'm not working in simple increments like 0 to 10, where it's easy to calculate the delta distance. For example, if I arbitrarily move this line down, and now tentative on it to get its Z coordinate. It's at negative 5.37. Well, let's say that I wanted to move that to an absolute elevation of 12.53. Well, I can, instead of using a delta key in or using AccuDraw, uh, I can use an XY key in with the move command. So, for example, I'll tentative on the move from point, give it the XY key in, XY equals, and I can use pound symbols as placeholders to hold the X and Y coordinates and then just give it the absolute elevation of 12.56 for the move. When I enter, notice if I tentative now, it held the start, the XY start point of 00, zero and it moved it to the absolute elevation of 12.56. A really handy key in if you don't want to have to calculate those delta distances for your move. Thanks for watching. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and you can check out our inroads and microstation training guides and course offerings at cadprodinc.com. You can also join our email list by visiting civilcadconsultant.com.